Hello, guys. You're right. Adam, morning. Adam, we're okay, mate. I've got to say to you. Before you before you start, I was there last night, mate. Dear, dear me. And I know you made changes, but what have you got to say about that performance? Yeah, but made changes. But this is a standard team that should beat Grimsby, no problem. Yeah. You know, I get there's FA Cup upsets and so on, but we didn't even look like we had half a chance. Like, it, it doesn't... The whole team didn't look like they got any interest in being there whatsoever. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? And by the way... Do you, do you blame them, though, the players? Because they don't have a clues in charge. They, you know what I mean? They think one manager comes in, one manager goes. No, I do. I do. I have to blame goes. them. If yeah. they're not putting it in, you've got to blame them, to be honest. I, I, t- I know it's not all rosy no. in the back room and the dressing room, but the players have got to get together. There's got to be a leader there to say, hey, come on, we can't lose this. 100%. But is Ward Prowse really a leader? Is he a really a, a, a leader? Well, the only thing I would say... It, in Ward Prowse's defence, she certainly looked miles better when him and Walcott come on the dozy. Look, there, at least there was a little bit of urgency. There was certainly a little bit of quality from set plays, as you'd expect from Ward Prowse. But, I mean, I, I, I don't think it's too much to ask for. You're looking for a lot more urgency from your team. In the first half, there was, there was nothing there, Adam. Yeah. No, no, there wasn't, no. I, I, you know, there was nothing. You have to bring Ward Prowse on to make changes. That just proves that the player is not going to be here next season when we go down. Mm. Okay, uh, Adam. Look, let me let me take one. Listen, that game against Leicester is massive coming up the weekend as well. Here's another Saints fan, Nero. Nero, morning, morning Nero. Morning, guys. How you doing? Uh, we're, yeah. doing we're doing fine. Were you there last night? I, I was literally going on the. Um, I was going up the. Um, what you call it, the M4 to join the motorway to go to Southampton on the M25, and then I thought, you know what? I live in Watford. I can't be. You know, I can't be bothered because. I just I had this intuition. I had this feeling that there was something not right, and I thought, uh, "Nah, we're going to lose." <laughs> did you watch it then? Did you watch it? Because yeah. no, I heard it on the radio. I was listening to it on the radio, and I, I was just—I um, don't know—I was just flabbergasted. I was disappointed. Uh, you know, I had my views about it, when, but with regards to managerial changes, I actually like Ruben Sellers, and I hope Ruben Sellers, you know, really yeah. does do well for us. But and I do feel that we need to just stay calm. Uh, wait for the Leicester game. But like this previous caller, I've had my doubts about James Ward-Prowse being that leader, the person that we need. I think, you know, the biggest mistake we had at Southampton, I think, and it was getting rid of the, some of the old guards. Uh, you know, we got rid of Joshida, we got rid of um, Oriel Romeo, guys who were experienced who could, you know, and leaders as well. So at the moment, I just feel maybe Ruben could do it, somebody to help him along for the rest of the season. Uh, well, Nero, get down there at the weekend. That Leicester game's massive, by the massive. way, honestly. And that's the way to get rid of this disappointment. A win at home and three points in the Premier. Thank you. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.